This is the fully maxed Ethereal Farlands Mage Set with a helmet pot of 1.22 million, armor pot of 1.16 million, and legs with 1.25 million. Both brand new legendary spells and a 1.61 secret, along with 10% outgoing damage. And of course, I'm going to be using the old secret ring and sigil just because they aren't out yet. But with all that being said, this is the fully maxed out legendary along with secret mage set for Ethereal Farlands. And if you guys want to see more Fabled Legacy content, make sure to get this video to 500 likes but anyways here we are in ethereal farlands chaos mode i'm not gonna start out with hardcore like always because different to the warrior set i actually haven't played mage at all and to be fair the sets aren't very different only the spells are but i'm pretty sure they're made to be pretty much the same so let's just go ahead and start now i will say one thing right off the bat the 10 percent outgoing damage is definitely gonna be a lot less damage than the 20 percent that the warrior set had so with this set i do around 10 billion damage in total but that's probably only because the seeker only has 10 percent outgoing damage damage but another thing that's pretty good about mage is that meleeing the mobs actually gives you like way more range as a warrior you have to get like really close and that extra bit of damage that just hitting the mobs gives you is actually really good and i'm kind of surprised that they wouldn't just balance that and make it the same range but i guess mages have a little bit extra range so hopefully that'll make up for the bit of damage that i'm losing just because of the 10 percent outgoing damage but anyway as you can see we're absolutely shredding the first boss and this attack is more of like a spray even though the damage numbers are pretty much the same as the warrior ability as it does one billion per tick but there we go the first boss is dead and so am i for some reason and now i have to walk all the way over there that is a little bit unfortunate but yeah if you guys have been playing fabled legacy recently the new dungeon has fully been out for about a week now so let me know in the comments what set do you guys have so far and also let me know what class you are because right now i'm probably gonna main as a warrior whenever i play but yeah let me know which class you think is better mage or warrior because i guess for myself i'll find out right now but to be honest so far they're pretty much the same but yeah there we go we're already on the parkour part let me just go ahead and quickly jump up these little rocks and then go through the this portal to the next dimension of this entire map basically and this should be the last group of mobs before the second boss and boom there we go and holy i just realized i am super low right now luckily there is a little heal orb that i can go ahead and collect boom there we go oh okay i missed it there we go now i'm full health but yeah anyways we're on the second boss now and i think i'm actually able to melee it i'm not even too sure as a warrior because you can't really see other than actually doing damage to it this one you can actually see like a little bit of lightning going out which makes sense because mages aren't supposed to be able to like swing and actually do damage but yeah i'm doing so much damage i just realize this is crazy i don't actually think that i was hitting the first boss with my sword but now that i actually doing it to the second boss that was insanely quick yeah make sure you are meleeing the bosses because this this ability is actually crazy but anyways this should be the last group right before the final boss and boom there we go we're on the ember wings let me go ahead and go up here and i think i just forgot to heal and there's not even one up here okay that's a little bit unfortunate i'm probably gonna have to fight this boss with half health now and i already died okay yeah i definitely should have healed but apparently the little fire rings that you have to jump over don't actually do damage someone said that i'm not sure entirely how much of that is true so i guess i'm about to find out let's just see okay they actually don't do damage i don't think okay that's actually weird then what are they for are they just a distraction or something okay yeah i'm not even getting hit by them that is weird is that actually just a distraction i genuinely thought it was an attack that you had to jump over well anyway the boss should be dead here and there we go anything good okay a hydra scorch mage helmet that's actually not bad now just like the warrior set video i'm gonna go ahead and join a little chaos run with the quick create thing but first let me go ahead and collect my daily reward because if you guys didn't know they recently updated it to finally give ethereal farlands loot so let's go ahead and see what i get and i did not get anything good you know what i'm gonna go ahead and buy another one let's see can we get something good okay nothing i'm gonna do this a few times bro just for you guys i'm gonna gamble a little bit here let's see okay still nothing i actually did get legendary warrior legs from this the other day and still nothing okay i think that's enough for now i don't really need anything else and while i'm at it let me go ahead and get a ring reward even though this still gives stardust citadel loot yeah as you can see we got nothing good but now anyways let me go ahead and actually find a party real quick there we go i've just joined a queue so hopefully two other people can actually queue up with me and boom there we go i just loaded into a round so let's go ahead and see who we're playing with here and we got a level 175 and a level 176 and this guy has full hydra scorch mage stuff so hopefully that's a decent set so let's go ahead and see how much damage do we do as a team and i'm pretty sure we can do a two cycle i actually can't remember how much i did with the team as a warrior i think my team might have been a little bit better then but i'll still go ahead and do this run and boom there we go we're on the first boss and i am extremely low right now i should probably not just rush straight in i might actually die here and yep i did okay yeah luckily this isn't hardcore mode because i wasn't even able to beat hardcore last video where i used the warrior set so i'm not even sure if i'm able to do that i'll probably try again with the mage set but the outcome probably won't be very different i also saw another comment saying that you don't need to add stamina points because that scales the damage which if that's actually true that is very weird i don't know why they would make that a thing hopefully that's not true because then how are you supposed to be a guardian unless i just misunderstood that comment but there we go the first boss is finally dead that actually was pretty quick so i shouldn't 
Wednesday finally. And both my teammates are pretty far behind right now. So I guess I'll just go ahead and rush in for them. Okay, there we go. They're finally here with me now. Let's just kill the mobs already, bro. I'm on 500,000 health. I'm about to die. Okay, there we go. Finally. There's actually two paths you can take here. One doing like parkour and one just walking. But I'm actually curious if going on the parkour one is even worth it. Because if you fail, you get sent to the start. But if you make it, I'm not even sure if it's faster than the normal path. And bro, for some reason, these mobs are taking forever to kill. Someone is not looking at the weeping angel. Can we please just get rid of these guys already? There we go. And I don't know why they're staying so far behind me. But anyways, let me go ahead and go through the portal and boom, there we go. That is always like the coolest part, just being able to switch like an entire dimension. And dang, I just realized how much more damage I'm doing than my team right now. I might just be carrying here. I've done about 1.2 trillion damage while the other one has only done 600 billion. But then again, I've also taken a lot more damage. Actually, not really. Someone has also taken the same amount. So I guess it's fine that I've taken this much damage. But yeah, once again, this is taking forever to kill, bro. Someone is not looking at the weeping angels. But there we go. Finally, they are dead. So we're on the second boss right now and i'm not even sure i'm gonna win i just realized we have only two minutes left i just realized the guy in chat it shows every single time and i think he's the one selling four times he's let it heal that is crazy hopefully this is actually possible because we still have an entire boss to defeat another group of mobs and then the final boss to defeat in only two minutes and we're probably gonna die so that's even less time i'm only at one million health right now bro this is not good come on bro we're almost down to one minute already are you serious all right there we go the second boss is dead and we have about one minute left this might be possible as long as no one dies i'm also very behind right now so this is not good and my teammate is on like 900,000 health right now both of us are extremely low right now this is bad and we both just died okay this might be a lost cause okay there we go ember wing but we have 20 seconds left yeah there's no way we're beating this i didn't even expect to lose i thought by now we would have been able to beat this easily i guess all those times where he didn't look at the weeping angel actually cost us yeah there we go we just failed bro are you serious well anyway i'm back in chaos mode but this time it's hardcore mode because i'm gonna be attempting this one more time except as a mage so i've went ahead and gone 100 million health hopefully that one comment wasn't true about them doing more damage it kind of doesn't make sense so i'm just gonna trust my gut here and just go 100 million i still do about 8.5 billion damage with this health so i should be good although i'm using like 50 skill points but don't worry about that let me just go ahead and start and hopefully i can actually beat it this time the main thing i just need to do is survive until i can get those little heal orbs which hypothetically shouldn't be too hard but you know i could definitely die very easy to some of these attacks so let me just go ahead and focus on killing these mobs already and boom there we go we already killed the first group without taking any damage and now if i take any damage here i should be able to just heal and okay i just took my first hit unfortunately but yeah the 100 million is definitely helping oh my gosh i just took so much damage okay there we go finally it's dead i definitely need to get this heal here the hardest part about it is i actually have to like aim and hit it there we go back to 100 million that is much better now let me actually stay pretty close to this boss so i can melee it because it definitely goes down a lot quicker when i'm meleeing it and of course i can't hit it because of these green circles you gotta be kidding me but there we go it is killing it so much faster and now i gotta back up because this green circle for some reason there we go i'm back closer come on i'm doing so much damage not as much as when i was glass cannon but definitely still a lot and boom there we go the first boss is dead i took a solid two million damage but luckily i can just go ahead and heal up so that basically didn't even matter whatsoever now i think this part there isn't a heal for like quite a while so i definitely have to be careful here and i also need to make sure to look at the weeping angels because oh we know what happened last time but there we go there should be one more mob never mind he's gone now and then we have this group until the portal and the parkour so let me just go ahead and quickly kill it without dying please i've already taken half of my health okay there we go finally it's dead and yeah i'm not sure if it offers me any heals i'm pretty sure it's only on and after bosses so i think i have to take down one more group until i can heal again yeah as you can see it's over there and oh my gosh they do so much damage no this might be where i lose bro please if i can just kill these mobs already i am so low it is crazy please oh my gosh there we go i was finally able to beat that part i'm pretty sure that's where i died last time as a warrior and i can see why so let me go ahead and just quickly heal up and there we go back to 100 million health so hopefully i should be able to to take down the second boss without dying i think this one's a lot easier to just sit here and melee because well the hitbox is definitely way bigger because there's no way i'm reaching all the way over there and boom look at that bro i'm already doing so much damage to this guy but oh no okay that could have been bad right there i just got stuck but as soon as this guy is dead i should be able to just heal up again and boom there we go now hopefully there's a little heal orb waiting for me on the other side of this portal please come on uh oh okay there is not but luckily there is one right there so all i have to do is just get past this group of mobs right here and then i should be good so i might actually be able to complete hardcore mode this time to be honest it wasn't even that hard i'm not sure how i didn't beat it as a warrior maybe that means mage is better who knows i highly doubt it but there we go we're on the ember wing so let me go ahead and collect this heal orb right here and there we go we're back to 100 million health and i'm on the final boss so now all i need to do is just kill this guy without dying and also the secret also has 100 percent luck which means i should get an extra item from this which is also very nice so not only are we getting an extra item from hardcore mode but i'm also getting one from the secret that i'm using but there we go he's getting pretty low but so am i to be honest i'm at 60 million health right now and oh my gosh that's just a 10 million damage oh no this is bad 
is bad. This is bad. Oh my gosh, I'm so low. All right, let me just not even worry about the rings. Now that I know that they don't even heal me or do damage to me, I mean. Please, he's so low. I can't get hit by anything. Oh no, I'm on 125k. No way. You gotta be kidding me. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. As I said before, if you guys wanna see more Fabled Legacy content, give this video to 500 likes and make sure to subscribe.